muscles and nerves of the posterior abdominal wall. Uh, number one, so as major muscle origin from transverse processes of all lumbar vertebrae. Number two, from adjacent sides of the lumbar vertebrae and the intervertebral discs. Number three, from the tendinous arches bridging over the lumbar vessels. The muscle descends medial to the iliacus, where both muscles join each other to form the iliopsoas muscle. It passes deep to the inguinal ligament to enter the thigh. Insertion in the lesser trochanter of the femur. The nerve is supplied by direct branches from the lumbar plexus, which lies inside the psoas major muscle itself, from lumbar 1, 2, and 3. Action. It is the main flexor and the medial rotator to the thigh. If the thigh is fixed, it can bend the trunk forwards. This is the psoas major muscle. Psoas major muscle and its origin here, the tendon descended downwards, and this is the quadratus lambora muscle. The quadratus lambora muscle takes origin from the iliolumbar ligament from the posterior part of the iliac crest inserted in the last rib and in the transverse processes of the upper four lumbar vertebrae. Nerve supply by the last thoracic and the upper four lumbar nerves. Action of the quadratus lumbura muscle, lateral flexion of the vertebral column, but if both muscles act together, they extend the lumbar part of the vertebral column. Lastly, it has a action on the last rib by fixing it during respiration. This is the quadratus lumbura muscle, and this is a psoas major muscle. The, this is the psoas minor, and this is iliacus muscle. Iliacus muscle, origin from the iliac fossa of the hip bone, and passes deep to the inguinal ligament to enter the thigh. Insertion into the lesser trochanter of the femur together with the psoas major muscle. Nerve supply from the femoral nerve in the abdomen. Action, it acts with the psoas major as main flexor of the thigh. This is the psoas major and this is the iliacus muscle. This is the femoral nerve. Lumbar plexus formed within the substance of the psoas major muscle from the anterior primary rami of the upper four lumbar nerves. It supplies the psoas major quadratus lumbura muscles. The following nerves arise from the lumbar plexus and related to the psoas major. Number one, iliohypogastric nerve, ilioinguinal nerve, genitofemoral nerve, lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh, lastly, femoral nerve, and obturator nerve. This is the lumbar plexus after removal of the psoas major muscle. This is the psoas major. And nerves here, branches coming out from the lumbar plexus are related to the psoas major muscle. Subcostal nerve, here, this not related to the uh, lumbar plexus, starting by iliohypogastric nerve, ilionguinal nerve, lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh, lateral to the psoas major, genitofemoral nerve in front of the psoas major, then medial to the psoas major, there is obturator nerve, but laterally thick nerve here is femoral nerve. Branches of the lumbar plexus, number one, iliohypogastric appears at the lateral border of the psoas major. Ilioinguinal lies below iliohypogastric to enter the inguinal canal and passes through the superficial inguinal ring. Lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh appears at the lateral border of psoas major below the ilioinguinal nerve. Genitofemoral nerve appears on the anterior surface of the psoas major muscle. Femoral nerve it is the largest branch of the lumbar plexus appears at the lateral border of the psoas major muscle. Obturator nerve descends on the medial side of the psoas major to enter the obturator canal.
and this is the roots of the lumbar plexus and this is the branches coming out from the lumbar plexus iliohypogastric iliomguinal genitofemoral lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh this is the femoral nerve and this is the obturator nerve autonomic plexus is on the abdomen number one celiac plexus it is present around the celiac artery and formed by sympathetic and parasympathetic fibers. Sympathetic fibers they come from the splanchnic nerves of the thoracic part of sympathetic trunk. Parasympathetic fibers they come from vagal branches. Aortic plexus it lies on the aorta between superior and inferior mesenteric arteries and they formed by branches from the celiac plexus and the lumbar sympathetic ganglia. It gives the plexus around the inferior mesenteric and the iliac arteries. Superior hypogastric plexus or presacral nerve. It lies just below the bifurcation of the uh, aorta in front of the fifth lumbar vertebra. It divides into right and left divisions, which it descends into the pelvis to join the inferior hypogastric plexus or pelvic plexuses. This is the autonomic plexuses here, the celiac plexus or celiac artery. This is aortic plexus and this is superior hypogastric and this is the hypogastric nerve. This is inferior hypogastric plexus.